You have seen the golden rules of RTD temperature measurement? Good. But for cryogenic applications like LNG or liquid hydrogen, you have to know more. Hi, I'm Dietmar. I'm senior application engineer for temperature measurement at Andres and Hauser. I'm working in the business for some decades and I want to share my expertise with you. As seen in some of the previous videos, we have learned that the gradient which is produced inside the thermometer assembly is influencing the final accuracy, which is physically possible to reach. And a special case is cryogenic gases or liquids with solved gases in it. In most of the applications I've seen during my customer visits, the typical installation is top-down. So there is a nozzle on the top of a pipe. So, but what is happening in these cases? For example, LNG, liquid natural gas, we are conducting some kind of energy from the ambient into the process and maybe a little bit of the LNG will uh, vaporize. That means we will produce bubbles and these bubbles will be collected, will be trapped inside the nozzle. Because of a gas has different heat conductivity than a liquid, especially as a flowing liquid, this will affect the gradient inside the thermometer. So gas bubbles will be collected and this part of the thermowell is not longer surrounded by the flow, it's cut off. And the de temperature gradient becomes different, we will see it. And as a result, we will see the mistake which you make will be bigger than necessary. Let's have a look. We have these two cases. Number one are the trapped gases. Number two is the original state or ideal state. In the ideal state, we've seen the, we will see the, the graph as we know it, uh, outside process connection and inside the liquid, we will have the simplified gradient uh, to the process temperature and depending on the sensor position, we will have a more or less small mistake. In the trapped gas case, we have an additional step because this, this part of the thermal well is cut off the energy, cut off the flow. It will be more influenced from the ambient conditions than the other case, so the gradient will be different. And at the end, we will have a gradient which is going like this. And you see the resulting mistake will be higher than in the case when the total thermal well is surrounded by the flow. And so that means the mistake is bigger because of this installation. So what can you do against it? Yeah, don't trap the bubbles. If you have an installation from below, obviously the bubbles will disappear. And the uh, thermal well will always be surrounded by flowing medium. If it's not possible like this, it's enough to do it like this. Also here, the bubbles will disappear. They won't be trapped. And the other case for sure, again, as uh, seen in another previous video, insulation of the pipe will be helpful uh, because the energy transport from the ambient into the pipe will be much smaller. And again, here, don't forget the wake frequency calculation. Hope you like it. If yes, watch out for the next video of the series and leave us a comment, a like or share.